No, thank you. Hello guys and welcome to the next educational series. In this one I decided to pick the hero, the chipper. Yeah, I appreciate you stop talking to me, thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really like this. And don't you listen. Please stop. Scout log on him. I you too as well. <laughs> I really like this hero and I've been playing it for a very long time. It used to be one of my best heroes back in uh, when I played mid all the time, so around three years ago or something like that, before I rotated into the jungle role. And I was incredibly good with this hero. I have lost quite a bit of skill on it, but I'm still like, quite a decent chipper. Also played him recently in the 1v1 tournament when I was in Thailand, if um, you guys remember that. Uh, regardless, I will hope you guys. I hope you guys will learn something from this game and can apply it to your own gameplay. So let's go through the abilities. First of all, we got Rocket Barrage. Basically, you fire a rocket that reaches a maximum of 3,000 range, and on impact, it will deal a lot of damage as well as mini stun. Now, keep in mind to co you can combo this with Hard Toss to deal even more damage as well as apply a dot to the enemy here. What's up? Yeah, just about to say. Look at this. Did our support actually buy a Merrick's Bounty at the start of the game? <laughs> I had to I have to send a message. Don't buy Merrick's Bounty at the start of the game. Okay, so <clears throat> this is supposed to be a chipper educational guess, but Ma buying oh, Merrick's Bounty in the start of the game. Oh god, now I missed the poll. <laughs> <laughs> buying Merrick's bounty. Uh, buying Merrick's bounty at the start of the game will like makes you lose against the suicide items, straight away. Items. Like the suicide will always win against you in a one v one if you're if you buy Merrick's bounty level one. It's not worth it. All right, guys, let's get back into the hero. So Tartos, basically you throw goo and. Uh, uh, basically, you throw goo, and if the the more uh, uh, on top of the hero it lands, the more it slows, which means more damage from your rockets, as well as a longer, uh, uh, well, a bigger slow, because the slow uh, is depending on how much uh, where it where it lands. Like I said, so keep that in mind when throwing the tar toss. First of all, we got focus buffer. Uh, focus buffer uh, is an ability that ab absorbs magic damage, and half of the damage absorbed will return to yourself as mana. So it's a pretty cool. Uh, it was a pretty niche ability. This is going to be an incredibly hard lane. Funnily enough, um, one of Chipper's worst matchups is Flux, because like this hero can pretty much burst any hero in the game at level 7. Or even at level 6, but Flux is one of the few heroes which he can't. Like, oh wow. Ugh, I couldn't get that last because he was sitting there. So, Flux is actually one of the worst heroes that you can play against because he is so tanky and you just simply cannot kill him because... You see, the way you want to play as a Chipper is you always want to play aggressive, like... Chipper is a hero that snowballs after your laning phase and through your laning phase, so it's important that you win your lane. And, uh, If you're playing against a hero like Flux, it's gonna be very, very, very hard to do so, so... I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful here so I don't lose my health pot. Alright, uh, but luckily enough, I do have a Parasite in my team, so hopefully Parasite can get a gank off for me. But I should not be able to kill this Flux alone, because the way you want to be playing this hero, is that you always want to be playing very far up. Like, you want to be playing on top of the enemy hero. Yo, yo, run, run bottom, guys. Keep running. Uh, Raps miss. Alright, so I actually managed to play that pretty well. Uh, oh. Please don't take the region, Iceland. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. No. No! Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna kill. So yeah, he it went out of position there and that's why I was able to take him down. So that was lucky for me. But yeah, it's, it's really hard to kill a Flux. Anyway, our last ability is Sawblade Showdown. Uh, you bla basically place a line of saws and it deals initial damage as well as overtime damage whenever someone is on the Sawblades. So uh, pretty... Like, this hero is all-out burst damage. If you don't have any mana, this hero doesn't do a lot in the start. So, use your mana wisely, but keep in mind that you can use your uh, rockets to uh, last it as well. Like, your most important thing is getting an early bottle. And if you're playing in a 1v2 lane even, you can still do well, because all you have to do is just 45 mana at level 1 for level 1 rocket, and you can get a last hit. So, don't be afraid to use your uh, rockets to last it. But you would rather want to use them as aggressively, because, like, right now, if I was playing against any other hero than Flux... Uh, someone is behind me. Raps is behind me mid. If I was play playing against another hero than Flux, I would be sitting up here right now, just pushing him out of lane. Uh, anyway, um, before I continue, I also want to say to all my Thai viewers slash fans that, uh, all people from Thailand, that if you haven't checked out the mobile application Gas Mobile, you should probably do so. Uh, the application basically 
allows you to uh, keep uh, keep updated to your favorite games, and it also has a spinning wheel, sort of like Plinko on your phone. And if I'm not wrong, it's every eight hours that you can spin this wheel for free, and you can well win avatars and coins and stuff like that. So it's pretty sweet. Um, you can also talk to your Garena Plus friends on 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 the application. So if you have a Garena, then you can talk to your friends there. And uh, I'm also going to be having some exclusive content on Gas Mobile in the future. So, yeah, pretty sweet app. You should check it out. Let's get back into the hero. Uh, bum 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 bum. Uh, so I want to pick up my boots here, and the boots of choice for Chipper will most of the time be uh, Ghost Marchers. Like, oh crap, I'm dead mid. Yeah, he, oops, he charged you. Slow him, please. Thank you. That was very close. Do not charge me again, you son of a... I thought I was dead there for sure. Oh wow, he saw that coming. Well, hello there. All right. Um, if he shows here, would you we kill him? Uh, Rampage is right here. Like he was just ganking me, man. Running into the entrance right now. We can kill him. I face boots. I I, I have two raw. He sees your alright, bro. There's no way. I mean, we can face. try, but he could just be charging me mid again. I think. Stun him here, and he's dead. Stun curse and death. Can you slow? Yeah, bro. He's not dead, no, but put a rest. Nice, good shit. Alright, so we do end up getting another kill there, so another good roam coming out from Parasite, and I was able to hit all my rockets. Now, of course, the rockets are a bit of a skill shot, so... Um, oh. Someone timed out on the enemy team. So try, like, be... Oh, god. I think that Rampage... Is Rampage coming mid again? Rampage is still missing, right? Boys? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, it is a little bit of a skill shot, so make sure that you take time and think, like, where are they gonna go, or just try and tart toss them first so you don't miss your rockets, because your rockets is all your damage. If you miss them, you're fucked. Alright, so we talked a little bit about, we explained his abilities, we uh, talked about Ghost Marchers, the boot of choice. Um... Mm -mm -mm. We talked about... Oh, I didn't say really what items uh, yet, right? So the item choice that I really like on this hero that I think... Like, you always want to pick up a Staff of the Master. Like, in Chipper's Staff is insane. Basically, a 90% movement slow that goes through Shrunken will, is your Staff of the Master. It does taper off over 4 seconds, I believe. Yeah, over 4 seconds, but it's still absolutely insane. So Staff of the Master is something you always want to go. Uh, Blink is very good. Like, Portal Key is in incredibly good. So Portal Key into Staff is usually the item build I go, actually. Um... No, take it and we can kill him. In. So basically, the item the item build that I usually do actually is just uh, Ghost Marchers into uh, Portal Key into Staff of the Master. Like it's really as simple as that because Staff is amazing, and if you can get it early, then it's incredibly, incredibly good. Just a uh, stun curse currently should die. Ah, I'm gonna ulti. Good shit, man. So as you can see, I've gotten a lot of ganks here, but it's actually oh, oh shit. Oh shit, looks like we're gonna get uh, Karma here. Uh, trying to get my rockets off before I die. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, as I said, like this is an incredibly bad matchup for Shipper, and it's really hard to kill Flux without a gank, so I'm lucky that I've had a lot of roam here from Parasite. Um, but yeah. So Ghost Marchers, uh, the item of choice as first item, and then into Portal Key will probably be my item this game as well. Um, and after that... Staff of the Master should be the item build I'm going. Just take experience mid for now, uh, Chip, uh, Woody Esther. I'm gonna try and kill top with Nighthound. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he has Arc Bones. That greedy. That is so greedy. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn Tower! You, do you have anything? No, right. Can you let him charge you? Let him charge you? Oh. From behind. Wait, well. oh. Can I snipe this? Alright, I got two rockets now. Alright, let's back up. Alright, he's backed out. Am I charged? If I'm charged, I'm dead. I kind of feel like I'm charged because I have no vision anywhere. Unless... Oh. My, my, my. You don't have any mana for me, right? 
Right, there we go, nice. So I think if he had any mana plots or anything that he could give me, so... Alright, we're gonna pick up yet another smoke. Smoke is a great item on um, on Chipper, because you, you can obviously just pop up from nowhere and go through wards. If you know that they have a ward here, just take your smoke, go through this way, and try and sh show up, like, sit in the trees, come up behind them, and... Like I said, you can pretty much burst any hero in the game. Most of the time, this is the item build that you will be doing. You will be maxing out your rockets you and your Tartos. But sometimes you need to scale your focus buffer, but you'd rather not. Like, the faster you level up your Tartos, the more burst you will have, the more kills oh, you will get. Yeah. Every time you have mana, you want to find a kill. Uh, do you want to find Solstice, or should I just gank top again? Or should I just run mid? Yeah, I think you just... I, I don't know. <laughs> I push mid. No stun on creep, let's go. So, yeah, um... Alright, I think I covered the basics of early game, like I explained, I couldn't sadly show you guys how you wanted to play in lane, but I did tell you how you want to do it, like you always want to be harassing, and the way you want to be sequencing your uh, your harass is that you want to be using your rocket when you see that his auto attack is incoming, so you see him charging up his auto attack, you rocket him to cancel it, you auto attack yourself, you rocket again, and that's the way of like winning the harass battle, you will pretty much 90% of the time win the harass battle if that's, if you play it that way, if you slow him I think we can just straight up burst him. Or all too slow even. Oh shit, I misclicked. Oh god. <laughs> I was <laughs> not sure how I pressed R there, but hey. Alright. I'm not sure how I clicked my ultimate there. Oops. Oh well. It didn't end up being too bad. Alright, so after we get our uh, blink here, our primary target is of course Mage Pain. We want to be killing heroes all the time, like that's the entire, uh, what's room in this bottom? Didi, can I take it? Uh, I got two ball charges for you. Um, so yeah, you always want to pick up, um, uh, what was I saying? Pick off important heroes. Oh, you don't want? Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be going for mage pain. He went Awk Bones, that is a very greedy build, I talked about that in my, uh, in my educational. So we want to make sure that we kill him a lot. I'm going to actually make a ward here on top. Oh, I think you red warded him. Fucking really impossible. Dude! Double damage. Nine. Yep, go. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> I did miss a couple of rockets there, but I think I've... I think I've had a pretty good ro rocket hit rate this game, dude. Don't be so mean. I just missed those. What do you want? Dude, please. I, I actually hit them before. Mid lane. Please, no flame. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be pushing the tower here. Just gonna keep on working towards one blink and 360 GPM. Mo most of the time you'll be getting your uh, your your uh, your farm from k hero kills. Like That really is how this hero works. So, right now I have 32 creeps. Usually I'll be at 70 even with Chipper here, so... Uh, 32 is really, really bad, but I have been... Can I just snap him? No. I have been going for hero kills, and I have been ganked a lot, and it's been constant action, so yeah, I yeah, think it's fine to have that little, um, I think, I think it's fine to just have that little creep kills this game, but you want to be sitting at 50 to 70 creep kills by 10 minutes, uh, with this hero, just like any other mid hero, and like I said, you can use rockets to farm, later on in the game when you're, like, working on items, you can even use your ultimate to push out waves, you that mad. is totally fine as well. Yeah, this is a, this is a horrible creep score, but for a good reason. Uh, yeah, we can. It's a creep or hero. I only kill creeps. I don't, I don't have enough mana to burst in myself, though. I'm gonna go get the rune. Oh, it's a haste. I'm coming. So we want to get another kill here with the smoke and with the haste. Uh, preferably on Mage Bane, but if not Mage Bane, then probably Solstice to avoid him from getting his blink. Uh, or just anyone really, like, as long as you <laughs> kill someone, that's, like, like I said, your job. Do they have vision? Oh, wow. Holy fuck! Hit him, he can't hit you. Holy fuck, that was close. <laughs> right, I'm gonna smoke up top, can I get plus one to kill him? Is he going cleaver or helmet? Like, cleaver, right? I can unignore chat now, I think. I'm TPing top with smoke. 
I'm just gonna TP on tower, I think. I don't what think it will matter that much. Under attack. Okay. As soon as Voodoo has the stuns, I'll be able to... Uh, I think I need to close... Yeah. Nice. Alright, I, I have ultimate. I have ult ready. You can go. So as you can see, I'm still 352 GPM, uh, even though I have no last this is all. This is a very, very uh, action-packed game. 6-1 and 3 right now. Uh, which is good. So we're just gonna get the blink here. We're gonna go mid now and farm it. Like I've barely been mid this game, so it's time to start farming it. But like I said, the most important thing about Chipper to re remember is that this is a burst hero, a snowballing hero that s only snowballs on kills. Doesn't farm the fastest unless you don't unless you use your ultis, and your rockets don't work on neutral creeps. So just try and get your items as fast as possible, which will which will be a uh, uh, blink and staff, and then you can go items like hellflower, um, sheepstick. You can go. Yeah, you can go Resto Stone, uh, Frostfield Plate, it all depends on the game after that, but Staff is an item you want every game. I'm actually gonna ulti this here so I can get my blink. Alright, we got our blink here in 10 gold. Uh, don't go bottom yet, don't go bottom yet. I have an Invis, if I can get over there with the Invis, we can fight. Oh god. I'm running over. Invisible. I have no ulti though, I'm almost in range for rockets. I'm in range for rockets now. Hax, do you want to fight or no? I can. Yeah. Kill, kill the Raptor. Dina. Taunt him. Can we kill, kill Solstice? Kill Solstice. Ah! Macho. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I can almost hit him. Uh, you got him. Nice. All right, good teamwork there, being able to get all of that off. We got Cleaver on our scout now, so that's good. Our lineup is... I just noticed we have Nighthound and Scout. I just really, like, just thought of that. Holy crap. Hopefully this game will be a little bit, a little bit longer, so I can show you guys the impact of a... Uh, of a staff, and I can show you a little bit more of a mid late game uh, chipper. But if not, I guess we'll just go with that. With this, uh, this is a hero that does revolve mostly around early game. And if your early game goes well, you can rotate into the late game with a lot of farm and a lot of more pickups. So, um, I will probably, if I decide to upload this, which I probably will, uh, you guys should probably. Um, I, I said probably like ten times now. <laughs> I will probably. Uh, <laughs> Have to do a more of a um, late game slash mid game chipper educational in the future, just like with Doctor Repulsor, which was also very short. Um, but I really like Chipper, and I want more people to play this hero because he's so underrated. Do you have ulti? Chavez ulti? No. Thought we'd have something at least. No. Nope. Yes. Nice kill. Oh, here. Like O M J. Team, are you gonna help me or no? Okay, I'm not going. Take it all. But yeah, I, I am of course uh, playing on uh, on my main account, as I promised you guys, and uh, we'll be playing high team M in all future educationals. So you can't. At least you guys can't complain about that. Uh, can, Axe, can, do you always have to be so mean? Always so mean, Axe. I know you have a gentle soul and a kind heart. Nope. Yes. Alright. We got two parts for a Staff of the Master now, and we're gonna continue working towards it. To towards more parts. I'm actually at 42 last hits at 17 minutes. I don't think I've ever had that low amount in one of my videos ever. <laughs> I'm literally just running around searching for kills, and I'm still 400 GPM as you can see. So I'm doing very well. It's just a little bit funny, but. The most important thing here in this game is that I create space for my um, uh, for my uh, scout. Like that's really what it's all about. Create space for scout. Create space for my team. Winner! And that is actually going to be a very 
very short educational. I hope you guys learned a little bit anyway. And uh, it's actually free in the morning, so I really need to go sleep now. Um, regardless, I hope you learned a little bit about Chipper. Hopefully I can make longer educationals in the future. Um, I also have a couple of uh, other educationals that I haven't uploaded that I didn't think were um, long enough. That I So I, I might upload them as deleted scenes, we'll see. Uh, regardless, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.